back in the chariot. He's going to judge and make war in a chariot. You know, in all these events that are taking place. And, you know, and the nation thought they did a good job by hiding all this information. But, you know, the chariots are making themselves known. And you got eyewitness accounts that people saw the chariot. You got prophets saw chariots. And the chariots have been appearing on brother's videos. You seen, you seen, you seen the accounts of them. And so they're, so they're, uh, you know, they can no longer hide the fact of the matter that the, that the chariots exist. You know, they still call them UFOs, but, but those in the truth know that they are the chariots of the for the, of the Alabama Kenny uh, and, 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 and our enemies, you know, they, they can't get around it. You know, I don't care how much, uh, uh, how much they try to, uh, debunk it or trying to denounce it or what have not, they, they can't get around the fact that mad that these cherries actually exist. And, you know, they can't get around the fact that they, uh, that they, uh, that they, uh, the empire, you know, per se, is coming to an end. You know, Esau, Esau's kingdom is coming to an end because of the second edge of 69 said Esau's the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. You know, how, you know, some of you ask questions, how you know it's uh, kingdom coming to an end? Uh, look at Babylon the Great. Look at America. Look at, look at the, uh, um, look at the uh, economic part of uh, Babylon the Great. It's collapsing. Look at the uh, spiritual part of Babylon the Great. That's been collapsing. And, and you got, you got stores that are closed on left and right. You know, you got, I believe it. Please ask the chapter 12, verse 3. They say the uh, grind is going to be low. You know, you know let, me, let, me, uh, let me get that scripture. It's, uh, I believe, the Ecclesi uh, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes uh, 12 and 3, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to go ahead and get that real quick. Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. It says that uh, in the days when the when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out the windows be dark, and that means that, that in, in Babylon the Great, it's talking about the jobs in America. You 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 heard throughout the news, I seen in throughout the news that that the uh, that people are getting laid off their jobs left and right, you know. And that's what they're talking about. They're talking about the grind is going to be low because the jobs are going to be very few. And, and you see that you got a lot of stores that are closed, and, and that's affecting a lot of people. And, and, and these people that are affected by it, you know, they, they, they're, you know, they're going to, uh, they're going to uh, start looting. They're going to start rebelling. You know, they're going to, they're going to start uh, taking out their own hands. You're going to start seeing insurrection. You know, insurrection in, in uh, Babylon the Great, especially with Esau Edom. You're going to have Esau that's going to go out here and he's going to uh, take his life, you know, because he, cause he a lot of these Edomites, they don't, they don't know how to handle pressure. You know, when Jake, you know, when uh, Jake loses his job, you know, we you know we can handle pressure. You know, we are, uh, we'll just go out and get another job. You know, we, we don't, you know. We don't sit there and, and get a gun, take our, take our life. You know, Jake, Jake uh, goes out there and hustle. You know, you can't, you can't stop Jake for uh, making his money. He'll go out there and hustle if he has to. He, he'll go out there and do what he got to do to support his family. But you, and you're gonna see, you're gonna see a lot of that in America. You're gonna see a lot of robbing, a lot of killing. You're gonna see all these things. Ecclesiastes 12, 1, they don't go back down to verse 4. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12, chapter and first verse, it says, Remember not I created from the days of thy youth, and when the evil days come not, uh, why the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, and when thou shalt say I had no pleasure in him. Right, you know, it, that's what you is like, man. We're supposed to remember you how about shame and how shy. You know, I know it's in the days of our youth, but, you know, now we're at the time, that uh, you know, the evil days are here. You know, you, you know, you, you see 
all types of wickedness that's going on throughout the earth. But, you know, we still supposed to remember Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shah, and we're supposed to have trust in him. We don't supposed to have trust in society like I read to you earlier. Look at the jobs and everything. You know, look, look how, uh, look at the grinding. You know, look at the jobs, you know. America got a lot of stores that are closed. And, and people are losing hope. And why is all, and some of you probably ask, okay, so why are all this, all these things are taking place? It's because, because, uh, first and foremost, you know, people are wicked against you. How about streaming how it's shot? And they're wicked against his people. And, and, for, and also our people, you know, those nine of truth, they refuse to want to return and not shy power, you have by Shem Yahweh Shah. And that's the reason why all this wickedness is going on throughout the globe. You know, and, that, and that's the reason why it go on throughout our people too. And, and you're going to see a lot more. It said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read verse 4. It reads, And the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, and he, he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the doors of music shall be brought low. Right, that, vo that voice and that rising up of the, of the bird means rising up for the, uh, when the rooster be crowing. You know how the rooster crow, and then you get up and get ready for work. You know, you take your bath and everything, get ready for your job. You know, uh, you know, you got people that, that rising up, you know, going out looking for jobs, and they can't find in it. Because it's very, the jobs nowadays are very scarce. I know you you used to back in the day you, you used to, if you get fired from four you can go there to Chevy and they hire you on the spot. You know you if you get fired from one job you can easily get another one, but you know that's not the case now. You know that's not the case. You know you see people uh, lose their job and it's hard for them to get a job. That's why really you see a lot of them start turning to. Doing drugs or turn to doing legal activity, because you know that you know they are they doing what they can to try to uh, support their family. You know they they doing what they they can, and and and, and say all dudes all the doors of music shall be brought low, right? You know you see the record sales are sucking. You know you see music uh, is is just playing out horrible. You see a lot of the stuff that's go, going on, and you know, and you know we and that shows that we are at the end. And you see Babylon the Great is falling. You know that's in Revelation, uh, chapter one, and not chapter one, but like a verse, chapter eighteen, I believe, starting at verse. You know, you can start at verse one, one and two. But I advise you, brother, if you're new in the faith, read uh, the whole Revelation, chapter eighteen. We're talking about the fall. It's talking about uh, what's, what's going to befall Babylon the Great. And you also got it in the Apocrypha, too. You know, it's describing uh, a Babylon the Great as the eagle. You, you know, you got all this stuff that's going on throughout the world. And, and, it, and, and the evidence is just so overwhelming. That the fact of the matter is, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, you know, it's only Yahweh Shah is gonna return in the chariots, and and he's gonna he's gonna judge and he's gonna make war, and that's you know that's in uh, Revelation uh that you know I know Revelation nineteen talk about so he he's gonna come back, you know, and he, when he come back he come back to judge and he come back to make war he's not. Come back to give no hugs, and he not come back to uh, you know, saying kumbaya or any of that stuff. He come back when he come back, he's gonna come back to judge, and he's gonna judge, and he's gonna make war, and and he's going to uh, he's gonna smite the nations with a rod of iron. You know, we gonna be ruling over our oppressors. That you can find that in uh, Isaiah chapter fourteen, I believe verse one through uh, you know, starting at verse one all the way down about verse four. Well, Isaiah chapter 14 is a good chapter to read too. It's gonna to show, it's gonna show, it's showing what gonna to happen to our enemies, you know, as well as what's gonna to happen to the the elites. And that's in Isaiah 14 as well. But you know, getting you know, uh, getting back on point, 
is that, you know, these other nations going to have to pay for all the crimes and everything that they had committed against you by Shimi Hausha. And, you know, if, you know, all, all nations going to have to pay. And, and they know that, that at that time they're going to have to pay for what they have done. They're going to have to pay for all the cr wicked, horrible crimes that they have committed. And, and, and there's no getting around it. You know, you can't say these devils. You can't, you know, you can't say these other nations. And, and, and they can't get out of their punishment. They can't get out of their judgment. The scriptures say, even though hands join the hand, they should not go and punish. You know, if you Israelites, you find and trying to save your enemies, you know, you're going to be punished right along with them. You know, it's a crime shame that, you know, you're going through all this hell. And, and you know, the Most High is trying to bring you out. You know, that's in Revelation 18, 14, you come out of her, my people. That you be part, not partakers of her sins and receive none, none of her plagues. And uh, I believe verse 5 said, reward her as she reward you and double uh, uh, to her, double according to her works. And the cup she had filled, filled to her double, you know, something to that effect. But, you know, that's a shame on on our people. You know, they're still trying to save their enemies. You know, what what's the point of trying to save your enemies? And your enemies uh, is out here trying, you know, they, they've been oppressing you for over 500 years and still count. And you got the, and, and you got your other enemies, you know, they lick, you know, they licking your sword, meaning that, and if you read about the uh, parable of the rich man and Lazarus, you know, Lazarus represents the Israelites, you know, or uh, the, the rich man represents Esau, you know, in his kingdom. And the dogs that lit the swords represent the other nation. That the other nation, you know, every time, you know, Jay has them, you know, they, they be a shop, you know, around the neighborhood where Jake is residing at. And they, uh, uh, they be at these shops. They trying to take every little penny, every little penny that Jay has. You know, you see all this stuff going on, and and, and you see that the jobs are the the uh the grind is low and the jobs are few, and, and you see and you see uh the other nations and you know trying to press Jay. You see all this stuff going on, and and you have to be living on the rock, you know. Y'all be living on the rocks to not to uh to want to see what's going on. Are you just playing out want to be ignorant because you don't want to face the fact that America and Babylon the Great is gone. You know, it, it's gone and, and it's falling and it can't get up. And and, 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 the, and you look at the if you're a, uh, a dial person or a person that the best in the stock market, you, you see. That Babylon the Great is gone. You see that the, the down and stuff is, is, is uh you know is low and, and it's crashing and you see all the stuff that's going on. And you gotta be willfully ignorant not to see what's going on. You have to. Because how about Shimmy how is making this making it known on the grand stage, you know, throughout the world. It, it, America is showing this uh her nakedness is being exposed. It's being uncovered. And all the lies and all the things that America has done, America is going to have to pay for all the, the, the atrocity that is done to the other nations. And, and also, and mainly to the most high chosen people, which are the Israelites, which is considered, which are consist of black, Latino, Native Americans. And you also you got confusion in face that look like the other nation, but they forefather go back to being Israelites. You know, but mainly, you know, black, Latino, Native Americans, you know, uh, uh, America going to have to pay. And all the, also the other nations going to have to pay. Because the fact of the matter is that they, ha they have done wickedness towards our people. And in uh, and, and Esau Edom kingdom, you know, he got kingdom by rape, rob, and murder. And, and he still does that to this day. But then you see his uh, wickedness is being exposed on, on a grand level. And, and you see that that these other, you see that Esau can't take it, man. He, he sees that uh, his ending is, 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 
it's playing out right before his very eyes. And don't be, you know, and you're going to see Esau try to, you know, going to start lashing out at Jake because, you know, you're going to start with, you know, the prophets with the men of the Lord. You're going to start, you're going to lash, you're going to try and lash out at the prophet because you're going to say it's the prophet's fault with all the stuff going on. But it's one thing about Esau, you know, he's not going to never admit to the fact that, that you know, because of his sins and his own sins, it's his downfall. But you know he's not going. He's not going to admit to that. You know he's not going to do that because he wants the world to believe that all this stuff is going on is because of uh, is because of Jake. You know it's because of uh the men of the Lord, and, we, and we're going to get blamed for a lot of stuff and, and all this stuff going on because it's the prophecy that you know by Shemi shot. and that's how the story is written. You know that's how it's written. That all these things gonna happen, and guess what? And us, and us Israelites, you know, the hopeful that hundred four, four thousand, one third, gonna gonna triumph in the end, you know, with with the power of spirit, how by shaping how shout, we're gonna uh, we're gonna rise above all that, and we're gonna take the kingdom, and then those those hopeful that hundred four, four thousand, one third, gonna bring back the two thirds in the kingdom. And, and Esau, Edom, and all these other nations, they, they, they know this, especially the elite, they, they, all, they know the story. But, you know, even though they know the story, you know, that they know that they is, it's basically here, you know, the scripture said, the pride, the pride of our heart had deceived thee, you know, the, thou that the way the cliff or the rock. They're talking about Esau. They're talking about, they're talking, they're talking about Esau, Edom. His pride of heart is going to deceive him. He's going to think that he can defeat the Savior. And we all know they ain't got a snowball chance of defeating, defeating the Savior. But they're going to try anyway because of pride of their heart. They don't want, they ain't going to just give up the kingdom. You know, the our scripture said the kingdom of heaven is for violence. And the violence takes by force. You know, these the devils are going to, going to fight tooth and nail. They ain't going to just lay down and, and just take their behind, they butt whooping. You know, they're like, you know, they ain't gonna just take their butt whooping. They, they're gonna fight with everything that they got. You know, they're gonna fight with everything that they got. And, and the Most High, go, uh, and Most High, through, through power, so Yahweh Shimon Shah, he gonna use his, he gonna, he gonna have Yahweh Shah and his uh, uh, angels to go back and, and take down Esau Edom, and he gonna. And down says a whole for a let, the hundred and four four thousand and one third with spiritual power. And then we're gonna be able to get a piece of this devil as well. And these other nations. They gonna have to pay too. But uh, you know, that, that's it for a lesson. You know, just wanna do a, a quick open forum before I have to get get on the road and get this day started. And I hope and pray that you was edified. And I'm sorry that I kind of went all over the place, but you know I pray that you you, you will be edified and you and you have hope and, and have faith to believe that Yahweh Shem Hasha is gonna return soon. He's gonna turn and gather his uh, redeem his people. You know that's it for a lesson. I pray to the Most High Yahweh Shem Hasha, Hashem Rahakadash, that will honor to the apostles, elders, and prophets. And to the hopeful left that I scattered throughout the four corners of the globe, and to the confusion of faith that are, that are joined to our race, and the Akim and few Akwat that are listening and learning. Until next time, Yahweh willing. Shalom and Baba Ball.